Uh, I'm out of space Can't eat with us We're out of place I'm doing fine I'm feeling great You're not my fan You can't relate Straight talk going state to state Yo, what's up guys? It's the mini host here And today I am back with another five questions And today I am here with Charlotte Renegade and Robin Renegade Also known as the Renegade Sisters Hi <laughs> All right, so number one, how did you guys fall in love with wrestling? I think we fell in love at different times, but pretty much the same way. Our dad, very much like you, introduced us to wrestling and was like, hey, come watch this. And we were like, I like that. That's good. Yeah, we, um, we kind of started watching um, back in, what, 17, 18, uh, 2017, 2018, and uh we just kind of fell in love with it. We, uh, of course, we had our favorites. Mine was Sasha and Roman and Charlotte's was, I'm pretty sure it was Randy Orton and I don't, Charlotte Flair and uh, maybe Becky Lynch at the time. Becky Lynch. Definitely going Randy back Orton. and forth between the <laughs> two, but uh, we definitely, we definitely like just were casual fans and it kind of just fell in our laps. <laughs> I love Sasha Banks too. Like, I love her. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's my girl, girl. That's my girl. <laughs> um, number two. How is it like training at the Nightmare Factory? It's fun. Actually, that's where we are right now. Yeah, I was going to say, we're. At, I actually just got out of the ring. That's why I was late. <laughs> but um, it's fun. It's a great time. Amazing coaches. Amazing, you know, um, trainees that, that train with us. It's you made a lot of friends. Oh, yeah. We're around and, a good group of people. Yes. And we definitely wouldn't be where we are in wrestling right now or be... I'm definitely not going to toot our own horn. We're not good, but <laughs> we wouldn't be as good as we are without the Nightmare right. Factory. Without the Nightmare Factory. It's been a pleasure and an honor to even be in these stores. Well, I think you guys are amazing. So thank oh, you. Thank love. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, number three, you've appeared a few times on AEW Dark and Elevation. What was one of your favorite matches between the two? I'm gonna let you answer yours first because mine has recently changed. <laughs> I know I've only had three. I had Nyla Rose, I had Ty Conti, and I had Abaddon. Um, Abaddon was my shortest match, and then Nyla Rose, and then Ty. And my favorite—I don't know—I love them all so e so much, like and so equally that it's so hard to pick. But I really do enjoy like. I had a lot of fun in my Nyla Rose match. That's the one I'm gonna pick. Uh, it was my very first match. It was the one I had the most fun in. I was super excited in the back. I was like telling her, I was like, just give me the power bomb. I just want the power <laughs> bomb, please. <laughs> um, I would say recently, like I said, recently this has changed, but before um, I had this match recently, it was Thunder's match. It was, or Ty's, one of the two. Um, I just, I love Thunder and I love Ty and they were awesome. I had so much fun in those matches. But I really think that recently it's changed because Brandy's match, that match with Brandy was so much fun. It was really Charlotte fun. got to be involved. Arn Anderson got involved. Brandy and I had a great match. It was a lot of fun. So like, I think that one's probably my favorite one out of all of the ones I've had on AEW. Because I've had about, I don't know, maybe eight or nine. I've had quite a couple. Yeah, I've had a few. I've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> um, number four. Your look and style reminds me of the old school Hardy Boys. Do they inspire you in any way? <laughs> so, yes, with our gear, um, I don't think it was what we originally wanted to look like the Hardy Boys. But when we decided that we were going to come up with street style gear, as people like to call our gear, we were thinking, we're like, so who did this best? Well, of course, the Hardy Boys and Lita. And so we went for something kind of Lita-ish. But Lita ended up S. <laughs> yes, but ended up leaning more towards the Hardy Boys. So as much as like it wasn't intentional, yes, they do inspire us. I love Jeff Hardy, one of my favorites of all time. I think he is fantastic in the ring. Yep. Matt Hardy, great character. They're both amazing people, amazing wrestlers. So like me personally, I would definitely say that they they inspire us yes. to be wrestlers. <laughs> So that's pretty cool, in my opinion. <laughs> you, like Jeff, who's your favorite, Jeff or Matt? Right. Okay. <laughs> um, she wasn't ready for the tables to be all lit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go with Jeff. I really liked him. <laughs> okay. Here we go. He always had the crazy face paint and the hairstyles and the clothes. I get it. 
Yeah. Matt was a little chill. Yeah, he was too, he was too chill. <laughs> Um, the fifth and final question, what are some goals you've both set for 2022? To get a contract somewhere. <laughs> I know that sounds so crazy, but that's our next goal right. is to get better, but to also try to try to work somewhere on a yeah. larger platform than what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. we want to get signed. Um, mm-hmm. As everybody can tell, we're, we're not going to speak on this very much, but um if you can look at our Instagrams and our Twitters, we just recently had a WWE tryout. And so now we have a taste of what we could possibly have. And now we want it even more. <laughs> like there's a fire lit underneath our butts and we're ready. Yep. Um, I would personally say shooting for, um, I don't want to say realistic because I do want to say that that's realistic. We're speaking things into the atmosphere. <laughs> but I will say that um, a little a little more doable that we can control. I would love to get booked on more more bigger shows um whether that be mlw nwa shine shimmer whatever it be like i just want to be booked on bigger things i want to be me and charlotte want to be everywhere Everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) Um, magic yes well i hope you guys possibly get into wwe you know you never know what's gonna happen (laughs) right (laughs) Um, but I'd also like to see you guys more on AEW as well. That'd be cool. Yes. Hey, contract with AEW, contract with WWE, as long as we're wrestling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, as long as we're doing something out there, as long as we're wrestling and making a difference. It's really cool that, like, you specifically has hit us up and we're having this interview with you. I love this. That means we're we're reaching out and we're hitting people, young people that actually could change their lives. And I I love this. <laughs> this yeah, made my day. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please smash the thumbs up button subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified each time you post a video and i'll see you guys all next time peace Bye. bye thank you so much for listening don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on podbean also check us out on youtube at straight talk wrestling on instagram at straight talk wrestling on facebook at straight talk wrestling and on twitter at underscore straight talk and if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch check us out on pro wrestling leaving the scene with no trace not in my league you out of place i'm not at the top i'm out of space and he's with us we're out I'm doing fine, I'm feeling great, you're not my fan, you can't relate, straight talk going state to state.